All right, Force fans, 95 days away from the home opener. Today we have joining the show is Trevor Griebel. Trevor's a defenseman for the Force, and he's coming back for his second season. So, Trevor, welcome to the show. Thank what are you. you up to, and what have you been working on this offseason? Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I've just been up to training, uh, skating, and then um, also incorporating a little bit of mountain biking in. So, um, I do weightlifting four times a week. Uh, I try to get on the ice two to three times a week. And then uh, just recently with my dad, like I said, we picked up mountain biking. So um, it's good to go go on the trails and kind of help with conditioning also. It's a, it's a fun way to get the conditioning in. So, Sure, I suppose mountain biking helps with the legs then through the season. Yep, yep. Helps build some more mass in the legs and then also uh, build up the cardio too. So, Sure, sure. So uh, what have you been up to in California besides getting ready for the hockey season? Uh, me and my family, obviously, we like going to the beach a little bit, um, enjoying the sun. Uh, me and my dad, we also play a game called trackball down there. Um, so you kind of have like two rackets, throw it back and forth to each other. It's just kind of nice to do along the shore. Um, okay. And then just kind of like I said, mountain biking. And uh, obviously most of my summer spent with training and trying to get on the ice and, and competing. So... Well, we definitely know you're a hard worker, and congrats on the most improved in player award you got. Thank um, you. You're welcome. How do you personally feel about your success, and how can you benefit from it for this upcoming season? Yeah, so um, I think obviously making the, the step up in leagues coming from the PCHL the year before, um, it took me a little bit to get my feet wet in the league and to kind of find my rhythm and get going, but um, you know, coaching staff and all my teammates were great with me, uh, helped me along through the process. And um, I just felt like probably by the 20, 25 game stretch, I just started to hit my mark and started to come on and um, just had a lot more confidence in my game. And uh, I think that's mainly what a lot of the game is, is confidence. So um, mm -hmm. now that I have that going into my second year, I think it'll just be a great opportunity just to pick it right back up from where I left off and, and get going mm -hmm. into the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of our fans don't know that uh, junior hockey is only one or two years kids typically play. So, Trevor, coming into your second season, a lot of the younger kids will be looking at you for leadership. Are you prepared to take on that role? Yeah, um, um, this is obviously going to be in just my second year at the Force. But uh, like I said, I played two years before with uh, in the BCHL with the Wenatchee Wilds. So um, I'm acquainted to the whole junior scene. And um, I'm just looking forward to, uh, to getting to camp and any of the new guys to, you know, taking them under my wing and whatnot and um, being there uh, available for them to pick my brain and ask questions uh, is just a great opportunity. So. Sure, sure. Uh, we heard some news recently. You've committed to a college for not this next season, but the following. Can you tell us yep. much about that? Yeah, I committed to uh, Merrimack College um, for the 22-23 season. So I will be coming back to Fargo next year. Um, it's for the season after. Um, I've been talking to them for just over a year now, and uh, I was very comfortable with uh, being able to accept accept the offer. Um, I've been, heard nothing but great stuff from their coaching staff about their coaching staff and the organization there. So um, I'm just excited to, to finish my junior season off, hopefully on a good note this season, uh, get better on the ice and, and in the weight room, and, and then go on to college and hopefully be an impact player. And for our fans, where is that located? Uh, it's inside uh, Andover, Massachusetts. So just kind of located outside Boston. Okay. You got to get rid of your R's to live in Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got some friends along the way that can help me out with that. So I got some Boston Perfect. friends. Perfect. Okay, some fun questions for you, Trevor. Why do you choose number five? Um, being a defenseman growing up, I uh, always watched, I'd say, probably one of the best defensemen of all time, Nicholas Lidstrom. Uh, for oh, the sure. Red, Red Wings. Wings. Yep. yep, he wore number five. So, um, like I said, he's probably one of the best defensemen to ever do it, and uh, I always like watching him growing up. Yeah, that's when they used to win all the cups, too. Yeah, yeah, great two-way <laughs> defenseman. So, I'd say it's kind of what my game is. Sure. So, who has the best nickname on the Force team, and what is your nickname? Okay, um, I got a couple. So, I go by Greaves, uh, Grebo, Gribes. Sure. Just kind of anything, just kind of obviously falls off your bell. Um, and then I say probably the best nickname is probably um, number three, Aiden Van Royen. Um, and his nickname's AVR. So 
Uh, I'm sure you can <laughs> that one in Van Ruen, ABR. Um, we, the guys gave that to him early in the season this last year, and uh, obviously I think it kind of stuck pretty good. I know he likes it. I think it's probably one of the best nicknames out there. It looks, sounds real nice, sounds cool, AVR. So, um, sounds like a loaded weapon. Yeah, yeah. It sounds <laughs> like a, I don't know. It sounds like a professional athlete. So Yeah, like, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so what was your, your favorite moment from last season? Favorite moment? Um, I'd say probably actually beating Sioux City in the playoffs, uh, mm -hmm. getting a chance to raise that banner. Um, mm -hmm. I know that was something that we reached out, and that was a goal that we, we uh, wanted to do early inside the season. We set a goal for ourselves, you know, raising a banner. Um, that's something that every guy on, in the room can come back to Fargo at any point in and, and go to the stadium and see that. So uh, Yeah, that's forever. Yeah, so uh, we're really, really fortunate that we were able to accomplish that this season. And for you Force fans, like I said, 95 days away, they'll be raising that banner at the home opener. So make sure you get out there to see that. Yep. Any superstitions in the way you put equipment on? I know a lot of hockey players are a little superstitious. Uh, yeah, I'm a little superstitious. Um, I'm usually one of the first guys dressed. So uh, I know a lot of guys like to wait till the last second. And sometimes it kind of scares me just looking over and seeing them. You know, the clock's ticking down the last minute and they're still getting going. But – um, yeah, I just like to start with just my skates first, I'd say. Uh, I do skates, shim pads, and then I pull my pants, my hockey pants over that. So I say that's a little bit weird, I guess. Um, and then just kind of go the top half on from there. I know a lot of guys do their shim pads, pants, and then their skates. So just a little switch up there for me. Do you retighten your skates after each period? Uh, no, I can't do that. No? Um, okay. I feel like they're too tight for just warm-ups anyway. So once I get going there after warm-ups, I feel like it's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Would you rather have a cannon for a slap shot or have pinpoint accuracy like Ray Bork as a defenseman? Um, I'd say pinpoint accuracy. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't really have a cannon as a slap shot as it is already. So, um, well, keep mountain biking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think just having that accuracy would obviously help go, go the extra mile. Yeah, Bork had a good career. Yeah. So, Summer Olympics are just around the corner. If the Force did a 100-meter dash, what place would you take and who would be the fastest? Ooh, I don't think I'd take a high place, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, not a Defense runner. Defensemen never do. <laughs> no, I'm not a runner either. Um, who would beat me, you say? Or who would take first? Who, who, who would take first? Who do you think – Who's your vote for fastest on the team um, last season? I say Kyle Smolin. Okay. I know, I know early Force fans will know Jake Dunlap and the Dunlap sure. brothers. I know those guys, they would take it probably. But uh, this season, I'd say probably maybe Kyle Smolin. Okay. Yep. Speaking of the Olympics, what event or sport besides hockey would you have the best shot at making the Olympic team, summer or winter? Um, all right. I'd say probably, I'd say baseball. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think all of the guys on the team can account for this one. Uh, one day in the, we had a, an off day in the season and we went to, uh, to go play some kind of like softball slow pitch or whatever. And, sure. um, I'd say by far I was probably one of the better players. So it was great. Okay. <laughs> Good to hear. Yeah. When you're, when you're done with hockey, you can play plenty of years of softball out at the fields. Yep. <laughs> Make sure you ask those questions to all the other guys because they know. <laughs> Do <laughs> know it. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being on the show, Trevor. Like I said, Force fans, we got 95 days away from that home opener. Well, the Force will be raising the Western Conference Championship banner. Thanks so much, Trevor. We'll see you at camp. Thank you. Thanks for having me. See you guys there. See ya.